In his greenhouse out the back of their sprawling Santa Barbara ranch in California, John Easterling, Olivia Newton-John's husband of 10 years, tends to his plants. He has become Olivia's alternate medicine man. When you cry for me. And these plants, he believes, could well hold the key to his wife's recovery. His miracle medicine is cannabis. How hard was it to get Olivia across to the idea? Because I, I think there was a bit of a resistance based on, you know, it's had a bad rap. It's, you know, marijuana is something that we equate to a, a drug culture. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and she was never involved in the drug culture, which is really fascinating for someone of her stature in the, in the music business. Um, so, but she remembered smoking one time, you know, in the 70s and said, oh, I don't want to do that again, and didn't, you know. She was a bit nervous? Were you a bit nervous about uh, that first time? I was, I was highly confident uh, up front, but deep inside, yeah, I was a bit nervous that, oh no, you know, how is this going to work? This is a, and... this is a national treasure here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I'm John has long held a strong belief in the medicinal power of plants having spent years cultivating herbs from the Amazon. Olivia's health is being maintained by a combination of conventional and herbal remedies. But cannabis is what he's hoping will keep Olivia alive, healthy, and importantly, pain-free. So Olivia pretty quickly got a good result. Yeah, very quickly, yeah, I like, mean, very quickly. Like, like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah, it's not like do it for 30 days and see what happens. It's like you know, you know, like right away. Yeah. When I broke my sacrum, I was on morphine because the pain was intense. I was terrified of starting it because I know it's a very hard thing to wean off, but I am now off it. Yes, and I weaned myself off it with cannabis. You described your pain as months and months of excruciating, sleep depriving, crying out loud pain. Mm -hmm. It was so bad. It was so bad. And if you weren't taking that cannabis? I'd be in pain, yes. Did you have to talk with your doctors about it before starting it? Um, I told them I was gonna do it and they were actually very um, positive about it. They were happy for me to do it. No one was worried? No one no. said that maybe, you know, we don't... I presume you know your dosage? I presume no. you don't? No, no. Dosage is different with cannabis. You, you learn how, you know, one drop or two drops is enough. You, you learn by the feel. It's like anything. Like if you drink alcohol, you'll learn one glass is enough for you, maybe two <laughs> for somebody else. But if I don't take the drops... I can feel the pain, so I know it's working. So I do that sometimes. I stop just to see what happens. So um, I'm incredibly pro-cannabis. It also helps you with anxiety? Yes. Sleep? Yes. Yes. Medicinal cannabis is widely used to treat cancer symptoms, particularly in California where it's legal. But John Easterling believes this is a plant that could potentially provide those suffering with cancer with much more. And he believes he's already seen physical evidence in Olivia's treatment. And do you think you can cure Olivia's cancer? I don't use the word uh, cure. I mean, I don't, I mean, I mean, People exhibit certain symptomology and then they're in a hurry to find somebody to give it a name. Cannabis can be used for so many things. You say you don't like the word cure, mm -hmm. but have you seen differences in tumours? Yeah, I'm confident. Yeah, we had uh, the latest uh, uh, MRIs are showing uh, a lesser number of, of tumours and, uh, and the majority of the other ones are, are shrinking. That's, I mean, that's... Huge. <laughs> it's huge. When you see it's that, huge, yeah. you know, how do you feel when you see that? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled, you know. I'm thrilled, I'm blessed, I feel I'm excited and, uh, you know, I'm, I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just over the moon. You know, I can't say it's all uh, cannabis because we do have a variety of Amazonian botanicals there too. And then she's doing a, an estrogen blocker. And there's no toxicity that you're concerned about? There's no downside that you're aware of? 
Uh, I haven't I haven't seen uh, toxicity or a downside. Even 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 as with, with all the plants I've worked with, the toxicity level on cannabis. I mean, no one's ever died. So there's a there's an extraordinary gift here, and the mobility's increasing. Her energy level's increasing. And we were concerned that she couldn't walk from the house down to feed the horses. And so that was where the conversation was at one point. And now she's down there brushing the horses and feeding the horses and, and driving off and shopping and visiting friends. And, and just, it's, it's, it's astonishing, really.